Hi developers, I'm Fasem Dilia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to use OData with ASP.NET Web Applications. OData is useful for querying data coming from a web API that could be uh, like queries, for example, uh, getting the top three employees or filtering uh, employees with their uh, ID or even uh, ordering by their first uh, names. It could be also getting the employees with uh, that have the, their first name equal to a certain value and so on. In real life, that looks like this one. So here I have Visual Studio a list of employees. Here I have uh, the employees, each one have an ID, first name and last name. I can query these employees through the URE request. So here I, I'm asking for the employees, for the top two employees and skipping the first one. That will give me these two employees with ID 2 and 3 because I'm skipping the first one which have the ID equal to 1. I can also do uh, filtering the employees or getting the employee who have an ID equal to uh, 3. For that or at Actually, the ID, the employees who have the ID lower than three. For that, I'm getting the employee which have the ID one and the other who have the ID equal to two. I can also go and order by the first name. For that, you get here the first. Uh, all the employees are filtering filtered by their uh, first name. I can also get the employees whose, whose first names equal to a certain value. Here I'm specifying Ahmed. So this is useful for search, but also for search you might want to go further. For example, uh, specifying that um, you want to get the employees whose names uh, contains a certain uh, string. For that, here I'm specifying that I want these employees with the first name that contains the letter uh, uppercase uh, A. I can also look for this keyword not only with the first name but also with the last name, and that's by specifying the OR operator. So let's build this application in ASP.NET. Web API. So yeah, I'll go to Visual Studio and right from here I have created a new application by going to File, New Project, Select Web and then ASP.NET Web Application then specify the Web API uh, template. After creating that project, now I have this structure here I have, where I have the controllers and inside the controllers I have the values controller and I take this sample controller to uh, write or data queries against my get um, action method. Now we want to apply or data queries for this uh, application. For that I should go through three steps. The first one is installing the NuGet package, then enabling or data query in web API config, then the third step is to add the attribute enable query on top of the action methods that we want them to support or data. So let's start by installing the NuGet package. I'll go back to Visual Studio and here I go to my Web API project, right click and select manage NuGet packages, hit browse, then look for or data. From here, I'll get this NuGet package Microsoft.ASP.NET.WebAPI.OData. So let's install this one. Here I have it already uh, installed. But for you, you will get uh, a button telling you to install this package for your application. After installing that package, you will get these references Microsoft.Data.OData and some other uh, dependencies. Then we'll go through the second step, which is enabling OData query in Web API config. 
So let's go to the Web API config, which is inside the app start folder. Here we have the Web API config, and right from here we'll go to config dot add data query uh, filter. We get this extension method because we have installed the data NuGet package. Then the third step is to add the attribute enable query to the action methods. And that's by going to the controller. And here I want this controller get to support the data queries. For that I'll add the attribute enable enable query. Now this method will support queries and here uh, I have a simple string which have only two values but I go and get rid of it because here I have already created an employees uh, list which is a list of employee and my employee here is a model inside the models folder which contains ID, first name and last name. So here my list of employees contains some uh, data. Here I have five employees. Each one have a unique ID, first name, and last name. So now I'll go and change the get method to support my uh, list of employees instead of a list of strings. So now I'll go and return my list of employees. Now I'm just I'm ready to um, start querying my uh, get extension method. So if I go and run this application with the breakpoint here inside the get method, here I will be able to execute this. Uh, or these um, data queries. So let's start by this one, for example. Here we are asking to get the top two uh, employees and skip the first one. That means we get the employee number two and number three. So let's write that. Here we have hidden the breakpoint. So let's uh, continue. And that will bring us the employee number two and number three here. I know their numbers by the ID. Let's go and hit the second um, data query here. Here we are specifying that the filter is the ID and we want the ID to be lower than three. Here this uh, percentage 20 is a special character to uh, replace um, the space is because the original query is like this one but when I execute it then here um, this space will be replaced by a percentage uh, 20 so you should ju just know about that we have another and the other query here for ordering the employees by their first name so if I hit that one now I get all my employees my five employees ordered based on their first name I can also here do uh, this and and this way I get my employees ordered by descending order so that I get the employee with the first uh, name uh, that starts with A at the list uh, at um, uh, the last of my list. And the same thing here, I can get the employee with the first name equal to a certain value, which is Ahmed as specified here. Go to here. Another uh, data query for getting the employee with the first name contains the letter A with uh, uppercase. So you see here in each time we are um, this method get returns all the list 
of the employees but the filtering of these employees is done after the execution of this action method because we have another filter that will be triggered and this filter will get all my five employees and apply the query that I have specified in the URE so that a filter will um, try to uh, understand the meaning of this uh, filter here and execute uh, that to my list of employees. Let's complete that. And here are some other um, filters. Here we can also specify the OR or the AND uh, operators and so on. So to get more information about these queries you can go to this URE here where the documentation for the web API with uh, OData support. Here you can get information about some other uh, OData query options you can use like the expand, uh, the inline count, select and so on. So I hope this was helpful for you and thank you.